Hi, Melanie Menschinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Triple Play Frame. We're going to be creating a single layer card using these tiny floral elements in the set. Not going to be using the frame, but at the end of this video I will show you how you can incorporate the frame if you want to. But this is great for just a clean and simple design that you can use for almost any occasion and it's very minimal supplies. In addition to the Triple Play Frame stamp set, I'm also going to be using an image and a sentiment from one of my coordinating sets. This is the Fabulous Holiday Fillers set. You're going to need just a piece of white cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half of the Gina K Pure Luxury White, the base weight, so this is the heavy one that you want to use for your single layer cards. The pads that I'm using, I've got the Gina K Black Onyx for stamping the sentiment grass green for those leafy elements and then I've got the red hot, the sweet mango, the blue denim, and the wild lilac. So we're just going to have a rainbow of color on our card today. You'll also need some small blocks for those small images and if you want to accent the center of some of those flowers or the butterflies, just some adhesive pearls. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to leave my card unfolded so that I have a nice flat surface for doing my stamping. You'll also want to have just a piece of scratch paper to mask and ground this little garden. So I'm going to go ahead and put this just right across my paper. I'm going to go about one third of the way down so that we're following that rule of thirds so that you're dividing up. Actually, go let's a little bit lower so that those flowers will come right across here. And let's put this card here as a guide so you can see where I'm going with my stamping. Okay, so I'm going to start with this little tiny stem. Okay, and these stamps are flexible. This is a clear photopolymer. It's bending slightly to the left, but you can make it go straight up or you can bend it to the right on your block. It's a little bit thicker at the bottom than it is at the top, but you could stamp it either way if you want. Okay, so we're going to start by creating our little stems. So I'm just going to go back and forth, stamping off and then re-inking, just putting them at different angles so it seems random and make some of them a little bit lower than the others. Okay, we can go back in and add some more if we want later. All right, and now let's take that large fern, this stamp, and we're going to add just a little bit of greenery at the bottom, and I'm stamping this off as well. Okay, see so when you remove that, you have just that nice masked off little edge. Okay, now let's just do one last little bit of green here. I'm going to use an even smaller block. This is just a tinier version of that fern, but when you stamp it onto the different stems, it's going to look like little leaves. So you can put them to either side, stamp them off, just as many as you want. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the one that kind of looks like maybe a daisy or a sunflower. And I did this one with the orange, so grab that sweet mango pad. And I just want the color to bounce around the card, so I want to put some orange over here and some orange over there. And then let's switch and we will do the one that kind of looks like a blue bonnet. And I did this one in the purple and the blue. So we'll do just a little bit of purple here. And I love how this one kind of looks like maybe just a little bit of baby's breath or just some real wispy little flower, wildflower. Put some of the blue on. Stamp that off. And finally the red. And I'm going to do the red in the one that kind of looks like the Queen Anne's lace. Or maybe like a dandelion with the spores. And there's an image in Teresa Momber's Elegant Florals 2 set 
this month as well. Let's add in just a few more stems because I want just a little bit more flowers in here. So we'll add just one there, do one here, and just go back and forth until it's filled up the way that you want it. You might want to switch back to one of the other flowers that you particularly liked. And you don't have to do them all in the same color. You could change it up and have this blue bonnet one looking red, but I'm just going to stick to what I already have. And then I want to add just a few little butterflies to this scene. So we've got actually two sizes in this set. I'm going to use this larger one. Or actually the medium sized one. I have a smaller one in my Fabulous frame filler set. I'll grab that one now. And put just one over here. Okay. So then we'll pull that away. So there's your little scene. And then I'm just going to add my greeting. And this is the celebrating your special day, wishing you the best in life. So that works great as a birthday, but it can be so many other things too. Just a nice grading for any time, especially when I'm making a card and I might be sending it later. And then I'm going to add one more butterfly here. I'll go ahead and use the large one. And I'm going to put this on the inside of the card. So I just like to have a little something peeking out. You take the outside in, make it coordinate, and it's just like a little surprise. And it also looks really nice for when you are staging your card for photographs. Let's go ahead and I'm going to add just one little pearl to that tiny butterfly on the front. And the card is done. Just love clean and simple cards like this. Now, if you want to add those into the frame, this is another version that I did. And... Um, colors that I wouldn't normally use, but I was out of all my white paper, so I used some ivory. And I used the same colors on those flowers, except what I did here is I made a mask of the frame, meaning I just stamped it out, punched these out with one and a quarter inch circle punches, and then just stamped right into it so you had a little vignette there. Another way that you could use these little flowers to make something on your card, you might want to stamp these along the bottom to create a little garden. In this larger section or if you had it turned the other way landscape style you could maybe put them along here and then put some of your images or sentiments into those circles i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can see how much you can do with those little tiny images from a stamp set like this please visit my blog hands head and heart for more inspiration go to my youtube channel for more videos and visit us on stamp tv and gina k designs thank you for, so much for watching today and god bless